Hey guys, this is Amir with Low5. We're here at Carl's Jr. today and we're about to see how much food I can get with only $5. Let's go check it out. Should I go ahead and order uh, fried zucchini and one spicy chicken sandwich? We're here. We're here. That'll be it. Four six to seven, so under five. All right, guys. So uh, at Carl's Jr., we went for a couple different items. I, I really struggled with this because I really wanted the fried zucchini, my favorite like fast food item period. So the fried zucchini was two seventy nine. I thought about getting a famous star, but that would have been the only thing we could get. I went for the dollar forty nine chicken sandwich, but I did get ample amounts of house dressing. So. Let's take a look at all the food and I'll let you know how it tastes. Oh man. My low five, I did the famous star. It was about $3.79 for just a sandwich. No combo meal with that. So you have to deal with the water, which I prefer. Um, not a lot of options for burgers here. Most of the sandwiches alone were over $5, so this was almost choice, but luckily the Famous Star is a pretty gigantic burger to begin with when compared to other fast food joints. So I'm, so I'm pretty happy here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I finished my Famous Star. I've actually had a few with right zucchini. Fullness, I'm, I'm not bloated or I'm not feeling like I have to go use a bathroom for the next hour, so I'm gonna put myself at a four. Value, definitely high on the value, so I'm going to do also for value. I feel like I got a good burger size and variety of food uh, without, uh, I don't know, I didn't get variety, just because we shared. Uh, the taste, I'm going to put the Charbroiled Famous Star at a, I'm going to put that at, I'm going to put that at four, it tastes too. It's not, it's not the, uh, it's not like a barbecue in your backyard, but it's about as close as you can get at a fast food joint. So taste of the famous star, that's a four. And the fried zucchini were excellent as well. There's not a lot of places you can get fried zucchini at a fast food restaurant. So uh, all around fours from me on Carl's Jr. for the lo-fi evaluation. Uh, definitely do it again. Okay guys, let's uh, dive right into the value. I finished all the food. Uh, I feel like I should have been able to get more items initially, but actually looking over it, I'm pretty happy with the fact that I got a zucchini and a burger out of it. Zucchini is of course a premium side, so. I'm gonna give it a four out of five on value. It could have been five out of five if I got one more item though. Taste, starting off with the zucchini. I can't say enough about the zucchini. Five out of five on taste. Perfectly breaded with Italian breadcrumbs. The zucchini's tender and you dip it in that savory peppery ranch dressing. Phenomenal. Now, the spicy chicken sandwich, I paid a dollar 49. At Jack in the Boss and McDonald's, you get it for a dollar, but I thought the lettuce in this chicken sandwich was super good and the bun was actually excellent. The chicken, though, wasn't really spicy, so I would refrain from calling it a spicy chicken sandwich. Fullness. Now, like Scott said, I'm not bloated, but I really feel like I could eat one more item right now and I'd be perfectly content. I'm kind of hungry, so I'm gonna go three out of five on fullness. Overall, though, Carl's Jr. is definitely low five certified. All right, guys, we came to Carl's Jr. with only $5, but we came out pretty well. Special thanks to my friend Scott Paul for showing up in the video today. I think you can see that there's plenty of options when you come to Carl's Jr. with only $5. Low five, out. Hey, low five. Here's the high five. And uh, hope that uh, things keep getting better, keep doing what you're doing, and, you know, changing the world.